me in hot just trying to put this thing on. Why am I not prepared? I'm laughing right now, but it's not funny. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's your girl Queen Now you'll be back with another video and today I am doing a wig review. Um, I've been missing an action but I will link a video up above updating you guys about my life. Last time I talked to you guys I was furloughed but now I started a new job and I started classes. So click the link up above and you can learn all the updates about my life there. Today I am going to be reviewing a wig because I'm going on a trip on Wednesday. Today is Monday, so two days from now. Um, and I didn't feel like bo being bothered with my hair. You guys know I'm natural. No. Um, so I went to the beauty supply store. I got this wig. It was about $27, so under $30. I wanted a curly wig, but the wig I wanted, they were sold out, and I didn't have time to go to another hair store. Um, I always wait to the last minute to pack. Does anybody else do that? Because I have still not gotten together. Like, I still be waiting to the two-day mark to get ready, knowing I need to go to the store and get stuff, but oh well. Um, this one is from the Jewels Collection. It's a lace wig. I usually steer clear of synthetic wigs with lace. I've tried them before and I really didn't like it because I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> and my hair is not braided so it's all making me nervous if this is going to actually lay down. Um, I did get the color 1B. They had an ombre one, but I didn't really like it because it had burgundy in it. And I don't really like burgundy, so I decided to get the 1B. And this is premium synthetic fiber. Premium. We're doing premium around here. And it just has like some guiding instructions back here. Um, about how to apply it, cut the lace, y'all, you know, um, and carry instructions. We don't need none of that because I already know how to cut the lace and I'm not planning on washing this hair. Once it's done, it's done. Rest in peace. It has two combs in the front. I don't know if I'm going to need those and a comb in the back. And it has the straps on the side. Um, I have a big head, so most of the time I don't end up using those. So I'm going to take this cap off. And this is the hair, by the way. And it's a middle part, so it doesn't have a bang. I'm used to always getting bangs, so this is new for me. The jerry curl kind of look. I don't really like this. But I had no choice but to get it because they didn't have anything else that I liked. And I am not a girl who wears straight wigs. So it was either that or nothing. And when I mean my nothing, that means wearing my real hair. And I'm just not really trying to twist my hair every night while I'm on. It's a, I'm going to a wedding. So it's not a vacation trip. But... You know, I'm going to try to turn it into a vacation because why not? <laughs> I'm getting away. You know? Vacay. Okay, yeah. This ain't going to be it. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to take the straps off. I'm really scared, guys. Like, what if my hair has to get braided? I don't have anybody to braid my hair right now. I don't have no one and I don't have the time to find anyone. Okay, we don't need the wig grab grip. Okay, all right. Oh, this is tragic. I miss when I had short hair because when I had short hair, 
I just have to plop that wig on. Woo! Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to braid my hair. I'm gonna have to get my hair braided. Wow, okay. It's not gonna, it's not, it's not going to fit. Okay, I took it off the ponytail. Hopefully, that helps. If it don't, then I'm going to cry. Woo! Can this wig, even if I braid my hair, can this wig fit? I'm so scared now. This is not working. Maybe it's supposed to be a side part. Half the ball. Like, because the part is right here. Maybe I do. I can wear this to the side if I cut a bang. Because I don't really. Regardless of that, I can't get this thing on my head. So, what we gonna do? I don't know. like stressed about it and find somebody and this thing still doesn't fit <laughs> now one thing I noticed this hair is like super soft premium what did it say Ooh. premium synthetic fibers okay it is soft this is the back. <laughs> oh, and I'm scared. Like, the lace is helping me keep this on right now. Like, it's squeezing my big head. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to wear this for another occasion. So when I come back, it might be a year from now. Who knows? <laughs> Cause this is not it. And good thing I only spent thirty dollars on it. Could have been worse. So let me check in with y'all. What's up, kings and queens? So as you can see, that wig did not work out. This is one of my old wigs that I made. Um, I'm recording this on November 24th, which is actually my birthday. Happy birthday to the queen. Today, the queen was born. All right, so, um, yeah, it's my birthday. It's right now 1228, um, and I'm up doing a video. I tell you guys, it's been literally a month since I've tried to put this wig on. Um, the wig was too small for my big head. Like, I had to go get my hair braided down, and I still never ended up wearing the wig, and since it's my birthday, and this is not the wig I wanted to wear for my birthday, but, you know, being in school and working again is just trying to clean the house, keep, you know, the stress down. It's just too much. So, if things don't happen out, I'm just learning to not stress it and to drink drink you know just drink with my hair being braided now if this wig would fit on my big head i don't know we'll see we we'll shall see so i'm gonna take this wig off and if you're interested in learning how i made this wig just click the link up above once this video is over so let's switch scenes Okay, so you can see I had my hair 
braid it down. Guys, I went through so much torture getting my hair braided down. Like, I'm very sensitive. Like, I have a lot, like, I want to say you tender headed. I am tender headed as hell. And it got worse when I went natural. Like, when I went natural, I barely touched my scalp because it's so thick. And when anybody else does it, they just don't take their time. Like, I've been to hair salons where the person takes their time with your scalp and you don't end up sore the next day. Other people, they be like yanking in and pulling in and just all types of foolishness. <sighs> Talking about it, it stresses me out. Does this thing have any straps on? The straps are not even on, y'all. Like, this wig is small. So, if you got a big head like me, this lit, don't get it. Don't even, like, don't do it to yourself, sis. Or you be over here struggling like me. Is this supposed to be a side part? Like, okay. It's just the lace is not even. You guys see that? Like, there's some more lace on this side. Like, is that because it's supposed to be a side part? Because I was going to wear it as a middle part. Maybe I should do a side part. Yeah, let's, that fits better. Okay, so I have my scissors. I'm going to cut this lace the best possible way possible um, without cutting the hair. Like I said, I usually don't do lace fronts because I don't know what I'm doing. And I've learned like you're supposed to do jagged and not straight lines. And that helps. Okay, I'm trying to pull the wig where I can wear the cones in the front to help with the lace front staying down. But as you can see, that's very difficult for me to do. And I don't like cones because it pulls your hair out. But I'm going to have to do it for the sake of this wig. This wig needs baby hairs. But you think I know how to do baby hairs? No. I don't know how to braid. So, <laughs> okay, let's see what it looks like for right now then. And I'm trying not to play with it too much to lose because I don't want to lose the curls. I usually like get the off black, like the dark brown colors because it just looks more natural to me. Like this is not me. This is who who are you? Who is this? This is a stranger. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna stop complaining. Ooh, I'm gonna drink. Ooh. We're gonna try to do baby hairs. I have the tools. I have it. I just don't know how to use them properly. But we're going to try today. Okay, let's put this hair back. Um, yeah, we're going to have to play with you, girl, because I don't know who this is. Okay, I lied because I don't know who I think I am. I do not know I made baby ears. So I'm not even about to go there with y'all. Like, I'm not about to pretend I know how to do something I don't know how to do. But I'm going to try to do what I see them do, which is paint the part with your, like, foundation or concealer. So I'm, I'm going to attempt to do that. Attempt. drinking this Moscato, this rose Moscato for my birthday. It's pretty good. It's my first time trying it. They already know it was cheap. Go to that Walmart. Okay. 
that's what we got. Does it look different? It looks fluffier to me. Okay. Should I do it to the side? Because once I cut it, you know, that's it. I can cut both sides, though. I can make it. But I want to cut it kind of even. So if I do decide to wear it in the middle, I can. It makes my head look like a weird shape to me. So these fake wigs, you just sometimes gotta do your own thing, like, and just see if it'll work out. Cause sometimes it'll be making you look crazy. That's me flipping it over. Maybe if I have makeup on. Okay, so I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I did it. Okay, um, yeah, this looks, this looks like I can wear it, you know? I can wear this now and not feel, you know, insecure about it. Because earlier, the side pop, oh. Okay, be warned, if you do cut the bang like that, <laughs> you would have hair falling off your face. So let me take this off and shake it. So anytime I'm done cutting, I shake it. So all those fly, those loose hairs come off and they don't fall in my eye or my mouth like that. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it. All right, so this is the final look. I actually like it now um, with some makeup on, cute lipstick, some nice jewelry. We talking. Let me put my earrings on for y'all. Let me put my big hoops on for y'all. And I have a tip for you guys. Um, so I have a tip for y'all. 
Basically, I seen this on Instagram. This girl had some very thick, long volume hair, and she doesn't like to cut her bang. Of course, because she wants to wear her hair any type of way. So what she does is take a hairpin. So I have my hairpin. It's a small one because I only have the black, the small ones in black. I have bigger ones, but they're gold, and I didn't want you to see the um, hairpin. So you push your bang back, and you slide. It's going to be hard for you guys to see. Slide it in there. I already got two on each side. And then push it down, and it helps your bangs stay out of your face. Okay, that that last one was too much, so I gotta take it out. But okay, but it helps the hair stay out of your face, and I'm so glad that I remembered that trick. So now I don't, cause I kept cutting the bang, and it was still in my face, and I cannot work like that. Um, but I didn't want to cut it anymore, cause I know it's gonna like affect the way the wig looks like it will start looking thin if I keep cutting up so I did that so now this is the finished look put my glasses on why are you interrupting hey babe happy birthday again thank you baby love you love you too follow my stream down there gang <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. Oh my goodness. Don't close the door. This is what it looks like. I thought somebody said something. Alright. I was getting nervous, y'all, that I thought I wasted my money. But if you like this wig transformation, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell. And until next time, kings and queens, peace, love, and happiness. Your girl is out.